All right. Um, I had posted in a previous video um, about using uh, antibiotics such as spiromycin for the treatment of poultry diseases such as toxoplasmosis. And um, while it's not approved in the United States, um, you can get the stuff and it is effective. Um, you do have to be careful because of uh, lingering um, residual levels of the drugs. It can get into the meat and eggs and it takes a long time to clear. Um, several weeks. That's why I think why it's not approved for use in the United States. Um, but um, it, it actually is sometimes prescribed for humans, so it's not like it's dangerous. But anyway, found something better and safer here. Um, this is um, black elderberry or Sambucus nigra. Um, this is a 5,000 milligram equivalent capsules. It's basically 500 milligrams, a 10 to 1 extract. Um, this is what I've been using instead of the antibiotics. And um, now there are several articles on PubMed discussing this subject. Um, this one is called, and I don't know if that's going to even, oh, pfft, helps to scroll down. This one's called a black elderberry supplementation effectively treats upper respiratory symptoms. Um, and then there's another one. Uh, this is called, um, this is called uh, Anti-Toxoplasma plasma Activities of uh, Basically Sambucus Nigra Fruits and Leaves. And they find that uh, black elderberry is effective for all stages of toxoplasmosis. Um, the spores, the, the adult form, all of it, it kills it all. So very, um, very good stuff. It's much safer than the antibiotic. Um, and... Um, so, like I said, I'm not trying to practice veterinary medicine here. I'm just telling you what I've been doing. Um, I'm going to pin a comment um, in the top with links to these studies um, on PubMed. And uh, I don't think I can do it in the description. But anyway, so basically what I do is I use one of these capsules for a five-gallon bucket of uh, water. And I do it seasonally, like um, basically before laying season so that it, it kind of kills that um, down before they start laying their eggs um, because I my first couple of times of, of um, breeding babies I I had huge problems with toxoplasmosis killing lots of pulse it causes lameness um, respiratory infections failure to thrive and gain weight all kinds of problems you'll notice that the babies are just falling down they can't walk they're flopping around on the ground it's it's toxoplasmosis it, it, it inflames their joints so you got to do something for that um, if you don't want a high mortality rate. So anyway, um, I just uh, add one capsule of this for the five gallon water uh, bucket. And I, um, I do that for about three weeks, um, maybe in January, late January or something. Um, so that by the time they start laying in March, they've been treated. And um, you can also do it for pulse if needed. Um, you can you could probably go about twice that strength, one gallon for two and one uh, capsule for two and a half gallons and um you know give the pulse that for a week or so and that should take care of it um, if i'm not using this stuff uh, i do seasonally use other water additives um, i like i really like apple cider vinegar use about a tablespoon for each um, five gallon bucket um, especially when it's hot and they benefit from the from this um, and it also prevents the growth of algae and then uh, sometimes I'll use an electrolyte. I've covered this in another video. Hen Boost um, is a good one. It's um, it's got all vitamins and minerals and electrolytes and all kinds of stuff. And especially like um, when the weather changes fast and it gets hot, like it's been cold and now all of a sudden it's 100 degrees and they're just dying out there. I'll I'll give them this um, for like maybe a week at a time as a little kick. But otherwise, uh, most of the time I'm using apple cider vinegar. So. Anyway, um, yep, uh, like I said, I'm not uh, recommending, I'm, I'm not trying to practice veterinary medicine or telling you what to do. I'm just showing you what I've been doing, and it's been effective. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching.